Uh, we we thank God for this uh, wonderful time God giving to us. Today is Sunday. Is the second days of uh, of the month of May. You know, things are moving forward. Eh? We have started January, February. Now is five months already. Five months of the year. Sometimes there is a lot of things you haven't achieved. Or you did plan for this year. Mm -hmm. So, it is a time as a Christian to stand up. And especially it is the month for everybody as a Christian to celebrate the Pentecost day for the power of the Holy Spirit. That the reason why I'm standing here to share with you this word, to prepare your heart, your spirit, and your thoughts to receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Whatever you are, God bless you. Is uh, is me, Pastor Isaiah Kabea. I thank God for for everybody watching our video and uh, write some comment and also ask some question privately. I thank God for for that. God bless you. Today, uh, I'll share with you the word of the Lord in the point of uh, you are ruled either by Satan or by God. You are leading either by Satan or by God. You know, all over the world, we speak with God only two spirits either for devil or for God. So, there is some character or represents represent the spirit of devil who is leading our life. Because if we are not leading by the spirit of God, which means you are leading by the spirit of devil. Is devil leading you? Is devil show you the way? Is devil telling you something to do? Is devil, he can be with you. But, if you are not leading by the spirit of devil, which means you are leading by the spirit of God. In the book of our Acts chapter 1, verse 8, the Bible says, Don't leave Jerusalem until I will send you the power of the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Ghost, shall upon you and you will be my witness so to testify about somebody it mean you were with that person and you see you stay with him and you share with him the bread and the clothes and the shoes that you'll be able to give a good testimony about the person. You can't give a good testimony for somebody you will never see or you never stay with. Sometimes you never talk to the person. Sometimes you never meet the person. But suddenly out of the blue, you stand, you start to give a testimony or you start talking about the person you never meet, you never talk to him, you never be close to that person, 
and uh, you see some people they can uh, speak aloud and uh, with proudness to say I know that person very well I know what I'm talking about but in your conscience and your heart you know very well you never met that person now those the spirit of devil so the moment you testify about the person you 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 stay you already stay with the person and you know him very well you will give a good testimony for that person so if you never stay with the person and you don't know him how are you going to give a testimony for that person that the reason why Jesus Christ said I will send to you and I will send to you the power of the Holy Ghost into upholding you the spirit of God and they say it will make you to be my witness to testify about God about Jesus Christ as a Lord and a Savior to give a good testimony There is no way who the devil said, I'll give you my spirit and you testify, you talk about me. There is no way. If I don't know if there is that such of the book. But me, I know only is the Holy Bible who talks about God. But to read the word of God, the moment I sit down, I read the word of God, the word of God represent also the spirit of devil. Sometimes whatever you have, you see, you start asking yourself, what is the spirit of devil? The spirit of devil, what does it look like? How does it feel? How does it do into our body, into our life? What is the spirit of devil? There is the spirit of devil also. Because you are leading by Satan, either by God or by God himself. Now, if we read in the book of uh, in the book of uh, Galatians, Galatians uh, chapter 5, verse 13, the topic said, live by the Spirit. They just say spirit. To my understanding, this is supposed to say, live by the power of the Holy Spirit. Or live by the Spirit of God. Live by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because there is a power in the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says, 13, you, my brothers, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the sinful natural, rather save one another in love. We have called to be in the freedom. To be free from all unrighteousness. To be free and the free indeed. Not to be free from the sinful. Not to be free and to remain in the sinful. To remain in the bad, in the wrong situation. But to be in the fear of God, in a sanctification, to be approached ourselves in the presence of God, to stay in His presence, because we are the Spirit of God, and the Bible says, rather save one another. In love, in faith, in hope, in love. Rather save one another in love. 
Because if you love, you can't hate. If you love, you can't do anything wrong. If you love, you can't even neglect the person who to speak a bad word to the person who say, I love this person. Now, if we continue to read this scripture 14, it talks about the character of a Christian. The one who believes in the word of God. Now, the one who believes in the word of God, he be called to be led by the spirit of God, not by the spirit of devil. The Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. Look the way you are in you. Do you have the capacity to love your neighbor? But like today is Sunday early in the morning, you, you hold your Bible and the ham. And do you say you go to church? And the prayer, you have a prayer. But sometimes you are not, you are not talking to your neighbor, to your friends, to your brothers, to your sisters. You just stay by yourself. You say, I know who I am. Because we say, okay, like he said, I know who I am. It is a confession we must confess. So the way you are confessing, I know who I am, but you know who you are, not in the good way, but in the wrong way. Anytime as a Christian, you speak in tongue, you prophesy, and you give the vision, after that, you start gossiping. Which means you are not leading by the Spirit of God. The Bible says 19. It says the act of the sinful natural are abuse. Abuse. Sexually immorality. Impurity. And abortion. So the one is got the spirit of devil. If the spirit of devil stay in you, is uponing you, the Bible says you be the someone is always abusing people. Sometimes you and I, if we talk about the abusive, you think like it's just go to huh? to sleep with those small ones. Sometimes you can abuse somebody through word. You can be rude anytime. You are always insulting your kids in the house. Besides to call them by their names. But you are calling your kids. You dogs. Where is those dogs of mine? Oh, so which means yourself you are a dog. You are a big dog. Who those cats, where are they? You are abusing your whole children. Which means you are leading your, your life is led by the spirit of devil is leading you. You can say you are a Christian, you are a pastor, you are a prophet, as long as you are using some wrong word, such of the words, which means is the spirit of devil is leading you. And the Bible says sexually immorality. Look at yourself, wherever you are. We are people, we lack praise. We lack asking to God. God do for me. God do this. But ourselves, we don't have a time to do what God wants us to do for him. But we lack just to ask God to do for us. The results that we call the discipline of life 
if you want God to do something or to realize something good among your life, we must also have a time to follow the word of God the way it is written. To be also in the spiritual discipline. If we start talking about discipline, some or some people they can stand up to say is preaching about judgment. He lack judging people. No, it's not the matter for judging people. It is a matter to walk in the light of God. Not to walk upon the spirit of devil. Not to walk in the spirit of devil. The spirit of devil, the moment is upon you, you can see sometimes your character change. It becomes the character of bad people. Your behavior can change. Which means it becomes already the spirit of, of the spirit of devil. You see some person he loses control, he loses mind, he loses thought, he start to do, he start behaving. Which means the person now is under the spirit of devil. Devil spirit. Some they can be born again if they are broke. The moment they don't have money, they become a born again. They can be success. They can be anytime they are in a church. Praising God. Present God. Hallelujah. They are the first person even to speak in tongue or to jump in a church. To jump with the word of God. Because they are broke. Once they have money, they forget even the door of the church. They forget even the avenue of the church. They don't know again the way of the church. They keep quiet. They can sometimes relax themselves into their houses. In the family members, they start just speaking nonsense, speaking bad words. While they forget where they are coming from. So those people, they lack, if God has done for them something, they forget about him. They forget about God. Already they become under leading, under the, under the, uh, the ownership, under partnership of devil. They can drink the way they want. They can be drunk. They can insult they can speak a bad word. Because it's now the spirit of devil is leading them. They lose even control. They lose their minds. Because they've got something into their pockets. One of the days somebody asked me a question to say... Why as we pray hard but we are not receiving but the pagan they can stay but their life is still moving forward. I just told the person say, it's good to pray but check also your character. Check also your behavior. It is very important. Who are you? What are you doing? Are you a Christian right now? Or you are not? Are you a born again? One of the day I was, uh, I was uh, counseling someone. I said, no, there is two, two people, two categories of Christianity. There is a Christian going to church every Sunday. Every Sunday. Is in church. Hear the word of God. And they like the message. And the respect to also give us an offering. But it's not a born again. Church worship. So there is a difference among those two people. So because a born again. A born again is a living by the will of God. So this one is always going, coming to church 
It just be there reading the word of God. Follow the word of God. It is like Nicodemus. Nicodemus, he was the Bible says, he was the priest he stood. He was a teacher of the Torah because he have known well the Torah. He ended up asking to Jesus what must I do to enter the kingdom of heaven. Jesus Christ told him, you must be born again. At night now, he followed Jesus. Ah, do you mean the way I am with my beard, the way, the way I am, I must go back to my mother in the womb to be reborn for the second time? Jesus said, what is born by man is a man. But what is born by the spirit is a spirit. What is born by flesh, it remains a flesh. And the, what is born by the spirit is a spirit. So to be led by the as a Christian, we are we are not we are not be called to be led by the spirit of devil, but God calling us to be led by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the living God. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Because if we read again the book of Acts, the book of Acts, uh, uh, the book of Galatians, sorry, Galatians, the Bible tells us chapter 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and the self-control again against such things there is no law. You know, sometimes you can. Talk to people, you can just be. You're just serious. No. You can be, you, you, you can be a pastor, you can be a prophet, you can be a you 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 can be a PA, you can be a manager. Don't think to be more serious than to make your job to be to, to be value. No, no. It's to destroy your job and your life, your career. You must also have the spirit, the fruit of the spirit of God. As a Christian, you know, a long time ago, I remember the moment I was, I was also young. I was a follower the word of God, to follow the church, to follow, to know more about God. They were teaching us these things. The fruit of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Can be sometimes you are a prophet or prophetess, but if you give one of the answer to someone, they say, "Hi, hey, bo, hi, oh, boy," and the person feels sorry by himself. So it is better also, as long as in your heart you are giving that answer to say, "No, I'm answering to the right question," is good. But if it become to another thing, it's wrong. We must have the fruit of the Holy Spirit. It is very important. We speak about the power of the Holy Spirit. We speak about to receive the Holy Spirit. We speak about to be baptized by water to be born again. And we speak about to be, to be, to be filled by the power of the Holy Spirit. But we never have a time to speak about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. It's good to speak in tongue, to communicate with God. As the way the Bible says that recommendation comes to Paul. Because the Bible says, I shall not leave you offer, I will send you another advocate, the spirit of the truth. The spirit of God shall upon you. It will lead you. It's better, it's good to speak in tongue. It's good to pray in tongue. It's good to cast out the devil in tongue. But we, it's good to also to have the fruit of the Holy Spirit. As the Bible says, 
the fruit of the spirit is love, joy. Love. Just love your neighbor as yourself. Whatever you do not want to people do bad to you, don't do it to your, to, to your friends. Joyful. You must have a joy. The spirit of joy. And the peace. Everywhere, look at just the way you are. Everywhere you are passing, people, they say, hey, troublemaker is here. Imagine, the Lord gives that search of the way. The name, you don't know. People start avoiding you because you are a troublemaker. So if someone with a peaceful, the moment you just arrive at work by your business place, you can be a manager. You can be a supervisor. You can be a CEO. You can be a COO. CFO. The moment you've got this spirit, the spirit of joy, and the spirit of peace, the, if there is a problem by a workplace, you just put please, peace to everyone. And the patience You can see some people they don't have a patience into their heart. They are just uncomfortable everywhere they are passing. They don't know what to do. You see someone sometimes it, you feel the person like he's not sitting down. Especially if it's the end of the month. The moment you receive your salary, you lose peace. You lose patience in you. You don't have the patience anymore. You become like a you start just saying, until if the money finish that you come, you feel like your heart goes down, down. I keep quiet. So, hey, my friend, you know what? At least you come with you start using this word. At least I pay rent, I buy grocery, and I've got to my lotion, my soap, my this. But in your saving account, nothing. Praise the Lord. Kindness. Sometimes you don't have any kindness. You, you are not somebody with kind. Sometimes just to shake a hand for someone. You're always abusive. You shake a hand and you start to stretch that hand. You shake your hand and you stretch it again. You squeeze it. You are squeezing the hand. You are squeezing it. I... So that, that there is sometimes that there is only Corona arrive. You just say, no, no, no. There is no more kindness. So what must I do? Let me pass over. Now there is no more shaking hand. There is no more hugging each other. Because you just hug. You just hug you. <laughs> After hugging you, your, your, your sister in your area. God knows. Goodness. So those the point, it make the fruit, it, it, it show the fruit of the Holy Spirit among our life as a Christian. As a Christian, we are people, we pray a lot, we fast a lot, we sleeping down, and we read more Bible, but without love, without joy, without kindness, without goodness, without patience. But we are Christian by our mouth and our outside. The moment we are holding our Bible and we put it under harm, we become the Christian. But in reality, there is nothing. Divisions. No love. Especially if your neighbor or your friend tells you something good. You see already, you look and say, mm, this person, you be, which means what is planning, it will be this level, his life to be like, like this. And that you, can be, you can have the connection to connect that person, but you just close it. You say, hmm. Let me just close it. 
You shall see. After that, you go to church. You start to pray. Speaking in tongue. Speaking in tongue and they jumping, jumping, jumping. The moment I was praying, now the moment you are praying, you are kneeling, your, your head, you are shaking the head now. The moment I was praying, the Spirit of the Lord speaking to me, and they said, and they, all the church say, Amen. But how about your heart? Your character, what you are doing, is it good? How many people you have already blocked among your life? How many people you have already blocked them into your heart? Physically, you can talk to them. Sometimes you can laugh with them. But inside, you have already closed. They will feel me. They will know me. They will know me who I am. There is a, you see, some Christianity is a Christian is going to church, is reading the Bible, is follow the word of God, but if he start talking, is talking, he start uh, anytime speak bad word to some people without reason, with that bad. If is they will feel, they will see, they will know, they will, you know. People, they are talking and they are they are showing what they are feeling into themselves. So they are showing it now physically. They speak with hunger. They speak with bad spirit and the bad thought to say who show them. Because myself, I know who I am. My say my voice never fail. If me I speak, if me I so if you you are always if me if me if me, which means you are already the servant of devil. Or the devil is using you now through your word to destroy the people of the Lord their life. Brothers and sisters. It is a good time of God giving to us to be led by the power of the Holy Spirit, to break ourselves, to going out of bad character. There is some bad character you can create it to yourself. Some you, some your behavior you have done it a long time ago, so you are scared now to say sometimes it will come back to me. Well, as long as myself I know everything shall be paid on earth, there is nothing shall be paid in heaven. That's me, I know. So, what is the Bible says? The Bible says, if you confess your sin and you stay into his presence, God, he will forgive you and he will protect you. But what he has done, he has speak to David, I forgive you, but the consequence for this situation, it will come back in your life. It's not me, it's the word of God. I know I'm speaking to the pastors. The consequence of what you have done, it will, come, it will come back, it will pass by your house. It's supposed David again to go back in the closet to intercede now about the consequence, to, to for God to remove that consequence. But he did not do it. He keep quiet. What the Bible says, the same kid of David, they end up sleep together themselves. Praise the living God. As a Christian, the moment we've got the heart of God and the forgiveness, the love of God, it will be among your life. It's not to take advantage for others. No, no. It's not to say to be again uh, mad or to be again, uh, I don't know what I can say. No, no. It's just to say it to be in the middle, to ask the blood of Jesus Christ to sanctify our life and our thought. His spirit 
to opening us. Praise the living God. Whatever you are, God will be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Is the Spirit upon you right now in the name of Jesus? Sometimes a long time ago, you were a prayer warrior. You were praying a lot. You were fasting a lot. So from now, you're feeling like you are down. You are no longer praised. You are no longer praised. But there is a bad the spirit is overtaking you. Is over, overtaking your heart, your spirit, your thought. In the name of Jesus Christ, God be with you. And I'm protecting you. God bless you, wherever you are. Be blessed. And they're moving forward. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Spirit of the Lord uponing you. Pray with me this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I'm here a friend of you. Deliver me from the sin of the world. Deliver me from bad word. Deliver me from bad character. I need the power of the Holy Spirit to take control of my life, to take control of my family and my house in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you wherever you are. Please subscribe to our channel. And uh, any question, I will put the link of my email address and also our email, you can contact us. And also the, the number, you can sometimes calling us, wherever you are, we'll be able to be in touch with you. And I know the greatness of the Lord, it's upon you. Bye-bye. See you next time.